let's take a look at setting the point of view. Whenever you select members in FTCS, you are setting the point of view and you are presented with a select a member window. This requires you to navigate through a hierarchical structure. So from the left, you can see the parent. And as you navigate through, the system will show you the next level of child. So you can navigate from the parent down into the descendants, jumping from child to child. If you want to move back up the hierarchy, notice the links at the bottom of the screen where, it's, where it says entity, total geography. That allows you to quickly move back up the hierarchy and take a new pathway down the uh, structure. When you select the members, you'll notice a little blue tick appears. That indicates that the member has been selected. To navigate down the structure, we recommend you click the arrows. The arrows take you to the next level. If you select the member, do be careful because you are potentially selecting that member. Please watch the demonstration after the point of view overview and do get comfortable selecting the point of view uh, when you've got access to your environment. You'll notice you can search for members using the names and aliases. However, you do need to delete a search to then continue navigating up and down the hierarchies. Once the point of view has been selected and changed, it's really important that you select the go button. So the go button only appears when you need to refresh the form. Effectively, that's what the go button is doing. So if you change a dimension on the point of view, please remember to click Go. Go will then update the form with the relevant dimensional changes that you've made on the point of view. Some people prefer to use the Edit Members button. This is down to preference. Please do try both me means of selecting the point of view. The Edit Members button allows you to select with a whole a uh, whole number of members using the drop downs and obviously you can still search for the items. What is useful with the edit members button is as soon as you hit apply, it updates the form with the relevant point of view. So there's no point to click uh, in clicking the go button. The go button just doesn't appear. So have a go at both versions of selecting members. The edit members allows you to choose multiple members and once you click apply, it updates the form. If you are selecting individual members, be careful to select the correct member by checking which one has got the blue tick alongside it. And then remember, obviously, to click the go button.